the conspiracy has effectively isolated me. Now, Australia is um, a signature to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with a Disability. That's to promote, protect and ensure the full and equal enjoyment of all human rights and their fundamental freedoms by all persons with disabilities. Hello me. And to promote respect for their inherent dignity. Yeah, it was ratified by the government in 2008 and it underpins all laws. Um, in particular, I've got a few things to say about my situation from this conspiracy. And that is that um, Article 12, equal recognition before the law. Um, I'm 50 years old and I've never had a lawyer. And that's in defiance of the charter that Australia is a signatory to. And I demand one, an impartial one, from the government as their obligation to me under the Charter. Article 13, access to justice. They shall ensure effective access to justice for all persons with disabilities on an equal basis with others. Well, I've been profoundly victimised, which is really brutal for me. And justice to me isn't about lots of money. It's not it at all. Um, justice to me is um, the bare minimum um, requirements to exist in society, a safe home with my dog, with enough provisions, food, medicine, and freedom from persecution. That includes the police and health authorities. Article 15, freedom from torture or cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. No one should be sub subjected to torture or cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. In particular, no one should be subjected without his or her free consent to medical or scientific experimentation. Australia is supposed to take effective legislative, administrative, judicial and other measures to prevent me, on an equal basis with others, from being subject to cruel, um, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment. Now, I have been subjected to torture. It's called no-touch torture and it's done systemically and politically. It's inhuman. It's degraded everything about my life, ruined my business, taken everything that I could ever hope um, that could help me rebuild myself from um, any mental illness. And I've been unfairly punished and brutally victimised by the government. And it is now their obligation under the Charter to intervene in an effective legislative, administrative and judicial way. Article 16, freedom from exploitation, violence and abuse. Australia is supposed to take all appropriate legislative, administrative, social, educational and other measures to protect persons with disabilities, both within and outside the home, from all forms of exploitation, violence and abuse. Um, I've been violently beaten up. I've been exploited um, for sharing my brave narratives and I've been really abused um, systemically and politically over many years. $50 million worth, in fact, over 20 years. Um, Article 17, protecting the integrity of the person. Australia um, is obliged to um, protect every person with disabilities and has a right to respect for his or her physical and mental integrity on an equal basis with others. Well, poverty's bad for your health. It's really bad for your health. Currently, I don't even have a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a GP, and I've had my physical and mental integrity consciously damaged and impaired by the government and by the CEO um, of the NDIS, Rebecca, and by the NDIS um, um, minister, Bill Shorten, who I wrote to and I said, this financial abuse is driving me fucking crazy, I'm gonna kill myself. And instead of actually intervening in a meaningful way, which would have helped, he sent a gang of cops to my house um, to um, take me to hospital and I was imprisoned, basically, as a political prisoner. And um, while I was in there, I lost my home. That was an example of it happening about three times. Now, there's Article 22, respect for privacy. No persons with disabilities, regardless of place of residence or living arrangements, shall be subjected to arbitrary, unlawful interference with, her, her, with his or her privacy, family, home or correspondence or other types of communication or to unlawful tax on, on his or her honour and reputation. Persons with disabilities, have the right to protection of the law against such interference or attacks. So um, I've actually filmed um, government agents um, gang stalking my house out front of my house in um, Footscray. I've had my, my um, communications intercepted. 
I can't get Facebook, I can't get LinkedIn, I can't get Twitter. Um, my phone is irrevocably hacked by powers that be. It is not okay that this happened to me. I deserve some privacy and I would like some privacy. Can you tell the people who are stalking me nearby through Grindr, other means, get the fuck away from me. My privacy has been violated. I want protection um, and I want um, my privacy back. And Article 25 in Health recognises that persons with disabilities have the right to the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of health without discri discrimination. Currently, um, I have no psychologist, no psychiatrist and no GP. I don't even have enough medicine um, to, to, to take for my mental illnesses or the money or prosperity to get it or access services. This is not okay. And um, I demand that the NDIS minister um, acknowledge these things um, and make provisions um, so I don't suffer anymore. Article 28, adequate standard of living and social protection. Australia recognises the right of persons with disabilities to an adequate standard of living for themselves and their families, including adequate food, clothing and housing, and to the continuous improvement of living conditions and take, to take appropriate steps to safeguard and promote the realisation of this right without discrimination on the basis of disability. Well, I've been a homeless vagrant living in my car um, last month and I've had no home. I've had barely money, I've had no health care. It is a brutal oppression of me. The problem is systemic and it's political and I fear that I'm now famous. I don't want to be famous. I don't actually even want to be um, the person that is at the center of this thing. All I want is um, an adequate standard of living for myself and my families. I want food, clothing and housing. This is, a, this is something Australia is a signatory to in the Charter of Human Rights for a Person with a Disability. I've been living in my car as a homeless vagrant infamous now without any protections at all. I'm now vulnerable to attack, violent, political, um, social. Um, there's not a single person left in my life. This conspiracy has isolated me and it's um, abused me and it's used no touch torture to um, absolutely act towards my detriment. And people have not been responsible within their remit as public officials under the Public Service Act. And now I'm demanding it. This is part of my video message to the CEO of the NDIS, Rebecca, um, Rebecca, what's her name? Can't remember, let's have a look. Rebecca Falkingham, this is part of my letter, okay, cheers.